Hello everybody and welcome to my updated tutorial about the Mega Menu in Bricks Builder. As you can see here it's pretty much the same as it was before but I have um, recreated the whole code to move away from jQuery. It's now written in vanilla JavaScript which should help you boost your performance um, and I've also adapted it to um, the new smaller DOM output in Bricks 1.4 so you shouldn't face any issues um, when using the new snippets in or tutorials in 1.4. Um, I have also uh, created a child team which you can download um, from GitHub here, it's for free. Um, that child team, so you have to click here on code and download zip for those who doesn't know. Um, the child team basically doesn't add anything to your website by default. It's just um, easier for those of you who aren't very familiar with coding or who don't have that experience um, to load the source files. So you don't have to handle those um, files anymore. All you need to do with the new child team is um, is just um, adding those few lines of code to make it work. Um, and that's pretty much straightforward. So you don't have to worry about anything anymore with that um, child theme. Um, I have also redone the website. So it's, it's kind of have a new design if you could have called it design before. Um, and I have also created some um, separation between tutorials and snippets. So I will also provide um, some short snippets which could be helpful for the one and or the other. Um, and I've also kind of given you here an indicator um, for the tutorials um, if there is a snippet away label which um, kind of tweaks or enhances the behavior of the of the tutorial element you will see it here and maybe there is some interesting stuff about it. I will add some of those snippets in the next days. Um, I won't record a video for each snippet because um, they are mostly very short as you can see here but maybe it's interesting for for someone. Um, yeah, the mega menu. Um, I will show you how to set it up. It's um, pretty easy. Um, it's pretty much the same as it was before. I have added um, a few more options. So let's call it new. Um, I've added a few more options. So open and close it on hover, for example, and some other stuff, which I will show you now. Um, if you're inside Bricks, um, all you need to do is just adding here a nav, oops, a nav menu um, and you have to um, assign that nav menu a certain ID. Um, I'm gonna call it here uh, my mega menu, which is also the ID of the tutorial um, online, so you can follow that. Um, that's pretty much everything about the menu. Um, all you need to do now is um, adding your drop downs. I'm just adding here a container and I give it a different background color so you can see what's going on. Let's maybe add another heading here. And um, for that container or for that drop down element, all you need to do is um, assigning a certain attribute. So it's called WCD underscore mm underscore target and for the va value you have to um, you have to give it the index of the menu element you want to target so um, you have to count from zero like in an array so the link one would be zero link two would be one and link three would be two so for example if i want to target link one i have to pass a value of zero so let's add another drop down here and give it another background color and also a an heading. And with that um, drop down here, I want to target link three. So all I have to do is adding an attribute again of WCD underscore MM underscore target and giving it a value of two. 
Um, that's it. That's all you have to do to make it work. Um, you just need to copy paste um, that um, short code if you have that child team available um, or installed. If you don't have it installed, you would need to copy that whole source code before and leave out line three here and just paste that stuff here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's pretty easy to, to use it. Um, the cool thing about it is that you don't have to worry about um, where to place that code block, you could place it here in the head because um, that script I provide you automatically gets um, uh, kind of injected in, 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 the, in the footer. So it, it, yeah, it, it will be in the footer then with that add action hook here and that script automatically gets enqueued in the footer. Um, yeah, there are certain options here um, first of all, we have to pass the ID of the menu we want to target, which is um, here in our case, my mega menu. Um, so we have that here too. Then there is an option available for the position. Um, there you can, you can read here on the side about the parameters. Um, the possible options are left, center, right and screen center. Um, I have faced while testing an issue with the screen center, so I won't show you that, but it will be um, available when Bricks 1.4 will be released. Um, but screen center basically aligns the drop down in center of your screen, while all the other options here um, align the drop down in relation to the parent um, menu item. So for example, if I choose left, then it will be aligned here. The left, the left edge here will be aligned with the link to text here left. Uh, the same for center. So center here in that case will be centered um, in relation to the link and right will be that the right edge here will be on the right edge here too. Um, as I said, that's a global option. You can override that option for each element individually because maybe it doesn't fit with the edge of your window, for example, or you want to have one specific element aligned different from the others. Um, but I will show you that um, later. There is also a small issue in Bricks right now, which will be fixed as I heard in, with the final release. But as you can see here, um, there is some code cut out. Um, it works when you execute the code, but it obviously doesn't work here in that case. So we have to um, fix that here. So you, okay. Um, Probably when Bricks 1.4 will be out, you don't have to do that anymore. But we have to change here some things. Um, I just gonna write that here and explain it later to you. And also the same for the hover option. Okay, it's not perfectly aligned, but it doesn't matter. Close to so, and we also have to do that here and here. Okay, so um, we have two options to open and close the mega menu. The first one is a click option, and the second one is a hover option. By default, if you don't pass any options here, um, it opens and closes on click, but you may want to have it opened and closed only on hover, for example, then you have to set click um, to false. So, um, yeah, let's do it that way for testing purpose. Um, there is another option here, which is the breakpoint um, that should match the breakpoint breakpoint you have um, chosen here. So I think by default it's that mobile landscape breakpoint. Um, 
that is basically um, responsible for um, changing the behavior of the mega menu if you have that um, mobile menu here. I'm gonna show you that too. So let's just leave it as it is for the moment and hit execute code and let's hit save and view it on the front end. And as you can see, um, they are now opening on hover and when I'm hovering out, they are closing. So the same here. Um, you could also kind of combine that behavior. So maybe you want to open it on hover, but only want to close it on click. Then you just have to set those parameters here corresponding. And it's opening now, as you can see, but it's not closing. Of course, it, it closes if you if you open another one, but it's not closing if I'm going outside with my mouth. Only on click, as you can see, it closes. So you can kind of combine those parameters. And yeah, and uh, lucky me that I have a girlfriend that knows how to cut videos. So I have mentioned earlier in that video that there is a bug about that. Uh, screen center position which I have fixed now so I thought um, I'm gonna cut that into or she gonna cut that into that video um, to have really all options available how to tweak it um, and I'm gonna show you that now so um, we have set that um, position here globally to center with that um, with that option here, but I've mentioned that you also um, can um, individually assign um, positions to those elements. So um, for example, if you want to have that one here right aligned or let's align it left um, and to see better what's going on, I'm gonna align that menu here on the left side too. Um, so if you want to, um, for example, have them opened here centered by default and you only want to have that yellow one here left centered because otherwise if you if you look here um, and reload that page um, it kind of overflows here on the left side so um, you can assign here an attribute of um, wcd underscore mm underscore position and let's give it a position of left for example here then as you can see it is left aligned here um, you can also um, add that screen center position now which i mentioned so let's do it here on the gray one um, let's add screen center and when i reload that page that one is left aligned and that one, okay, you can't see it very good, but if you see it here on the left and the right, that one here is um, aligned um, according to the screen width. So yeah, that's how you can um, adapt that behavior for each element itself. Um, if I remove that here, for example, it will stay centered to that link, but the other one still is on the left side. So as you can see there, there you can see the difference between screen center and center. Um, yeah, for the mobile part, maybe I'm gonna show you that too. So just reload the page here. Um, it automatically um, adapts to a mobile behavior. So you don't want to open here a dropdown. So that's why I need to set that breakpoint. Um, yeah. That's pretty much everything now I have to say about the Mega Menu. Um, I hope you like it and if you are facing any issues or have any questions, just let me know.